Hi guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day and in today's video I am doing my draw this again of the rainbow hair girl for what is now the fifth time in the row. So I've been drawing her every single year since 2014 and I'm actually surprised at this myself because I'm really bad at sticking to things but I guess I'm always really motivated to do this one because it's just so much fun and I always start not knowing how it's going to turn out. So this time around I was so sad and wanting it to be so much better than the previous versions because I find that this is a really good way to track your improvement in your drawings. Anyone watching this video, I seriously suggest you right now go back, find an old drawing of yours, maybe even from your childhood because that will be a way to find the most drastic difference. But find an old drawing and redraw it now how you would draw it now if you were to completely reimagine the piece. And you'll be so surprised at just how much you have improved. Like every single time I do this, I think, oh, I don't think I draw that much differently to how I drew last year. And then I end up doing this draw this again thing again. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> there's so much difference, especially when I look at this one versus the one I did last year. I realised just how much my style has changed because a lot of people pointed out in the 2017 version I'd started to move kind of towards more realistic but that wasn't really exactly the direction I want to go in so this year you'll notice that it's moving a lot more back to cartoony kind of style if that makes sense. When I did this video last year a lot of people said that they actually preferred the 2016 version and I'm not gonna lie that's like someone's worst nightmare if you've just done like a draw this again and you post it and then everyone comments that they prefer the old version I feel like a lot of people if they've posted a drawing will take offense to that just because it's as if you're saying that they haven't improved at all but looking back now I can understand why a lot of people said that in comparison to the 2016 version, the 2017 version, I guess, lacks character. It's moving further and further away from what the original concept was. So this time around, I really, really wanted to make it look like she was definitely that same girl in the 2014 one. Because 2017 looks like it could be a different person, like the parting is different, things like that. I wanted to move the parting back towards the middle again and just kind of go from what the original concept was and also in the original one she had a raised eyebrow and the sort of kind of sassy questioning expression so I really wanted to move back to that so a lot of the comments that people were saying last time around was that there was a lack of expression on the 2017 version where she's just kind of doing a very like basic smile and she has a lack of character I guess and the 2016 version had like a cuter rounder face and it moved away a lot from the original first ever piece so people said they preferred the 2016 version because it was less realistic and more stylized so this time around I wanted to go back to the stylized elements I also this time around put on my Instagram story for you guys to give me feedback and critiques about what you think could be improved in the 2018 version. A lot of people thought it would be better if I added more movement and maybe like a line of action and I thought a really good idea would be that she was in the middle of doing her hair. She hadn't tied it up in the side ponytail yet and she was like, I don't know, gathering up her hair as if she was about to tie it up and that was actually a suggestion someone made in response to my story and I'll put a little overlay up on screen. I definitely recommend if you want any kind of input in terms of what I should make in future videos etc definitely follow me on my Instagram stories because I always ask for suggestions and do polls that relate to my like YouTube channel in there so if you want to see like my drawings, the final finished drawings, and also my Instagram stories, definitely recommend you go follow me there. Um, but yeah, a lot of people had said to incorporate the hands and also have more movement. And when someone said to me to make it look like she was gathering her hair up in order to tie up, I had this idea that she could have the raised eyebrow of the original drawing I ever did and have sort of like an expression like, like a hmm, kind of like wondering expression. So how I imagined it is sort of like with my 
haircut drawing I did a while back is that we are the sort of mirror that she's looking into and she's looking in the mirror gathering up her hair you know if you're trying to work out how you should tie up your hair you might grab a bit of your hair and hold it up and try and work out where you're going to tie it I guess that's sort of what she's doing she's holding her hair up and trying to judge hmm should I tie it up like this and that's kind of also her expression on her face she's like sort of focusing sort of thinking to herself hmm I'm not sure and I guess this is the moment before it's tied up so in that way I think it has more of a story to it it's a bit more interesting to look at this time around because she's in the middle of doing something rather than just it being like I guess last time I said it was sort of like a school photo she was just kind of it was just a headshot of her smiling and it was a bit boring so this time around I think it looks a bit livelier and yeah so that was one of the changes I made I also made her roots dark because I think this makes it a little bit more realistic looking because she would have dyed her hair and she would have had to like bleach it to get it all those different colors and I thought if she could have a little bit of brown roots growing through, it will show you what her natural hair colour would look like. And I don't know, in that way, look a bit more realistic. A lot of people also said that they thought I should make the hair more vibrant. So I did kind of make it a little bit more vibrant this time around. But I didn't want to overdo it with the vibrancy of the hair because I just thought it would just be too bright. And I think the balance right now looks about just right. But yeah, I'm also so happy with the hand I drew. I did have to look at reference, which there is nothing wrong with. If you guys struggle with like hands or feet, definitely look at references. It's what's helped me so much because you guys know, if you've been following the channel for a long time, I have had such a battle with hands and I'm really happy to say that I feel like I'm finally getting the hang of them. I, they don't scare me as much to draw anymore. I don't try and hold hide hands behind things as much i like having the hands in the piece and i think having the hands in my paintings as well just helps so much in terms of emphasizing expressions but yeah see me as i've been at university for a year since the 2017 version i'm now in my second year i think i can tell there is such a difference in the way i paint and the way i imagine the character to be just because of that year I've had at university, I really do think that's what's caused there to be such a difference between this version and last year's version. And I think because I also do a lot of 3D animation now, I'm thinking more in terms of movement and where things are placed. So I think that is the reason for most of the differences here, like the expression in the hands. Oh, I forgot to mention another thing that people were pointing out that could be better was that she looked too flat last year. So I also used Pinterest reference for lighting and that helped so much. And then I decided to do a little bit of backlighting, which is the like very harsh white light you see me adding here at the end. Um, over the corner of a drawing and I think it just made her pop a lot more and the light looks so much better and she looks way less flat now so I'm a lot happier about that. Now is the time I ask you guys a question which is do you guys want to see a 2019 version? Do you think I should keep doing this for for the rest of my life? <laughs> I'm just imagining it now like me age 50 still drawing this rainbow hair girl and like I said last time I think it will get to a point where the differences between each one are so minimal but I really thought that the differences between this one and last year's would be quite small but I'd say it looks very different. But anyway I'm super happy with how she came out this time around and like I said I think a lot of it you can see that university has had an impact on the way I've been painting. Hopefully you guys really like this version. If you prefer an old version, then fair enough. That might be just because you like the style of those ones better. But yeah, I'm really happy with this and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye guys.